that the risk is not sticking to a certain to that for a profitable trading trading ah, ah not sticking to a certain what you are going to Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Wanda Waivaka and I am or I am trying to be your business enthusiast. Yes, so another week and we have a guest, but before we get to that, um, this video has probably been sponsored by Oceania. So Oceania does branding, as I talked about in my last video. They do stationery, they do t-shirts, they do corporate events, you name it. So they are about to launch their website. So you guys look out for that. I will link their social media handles on my description box below. So back to the guest I was talking about. You feel like introducing yourself? Uh, yes, let me go ahead and introduce myself. Hi guys, my name is Alex Kaguti. Um, I'm the founder of a company called World Market Trader. So um, basically we offer mentorship and train guys on how to trade um, in the financial markets, um, in Forex, uh, commodities, indices, you name it. Um, I'm also a full-time trader myself, so yeah, I think that's, that's me in a nutshell. Okay, what is Forex to begin with? So Forex is basically short for um, the foreign exchange market. Um, so basically, it's basically a market where people, uh, individuals and corporations need to exchange currencies. Okay, so in a nutshell, how exactly does it work? An easy way of thinking about Forex is it's kind of like stocks. Um, think about the way you buy, you, uh, buy a stock and then you want it to go up. So in the same way, um, Forex traders make money by, uh, through fluctuations. So basically, we, what traders look to do is to either buy low and sell high or to buy high and sell low. Let's just take like a hundred. Yeah. If I buy at a hundred, exactly. and then like it goes to, let's say, one or three. Exactly. At that time, I can sell at one or three. You can actually sell at one or three and make a profit. And there's also, so that's actually called going long. Mm -hmm. And there's something called short selling. So short selling is kind of like the opposite. Mm -hmm. um, if it's at a hundred and then um, you take a short position, then it goes to, let's say, 95. Yeah. You actually make a difference. So you can actually make money when the market is going down as well. Where exactly does the money go to? Like, <laughs> um, So basically what we have um, for individuals who want to get into the market, um, it's going to be traditionally it was very hard for individuals to get into the market. Mm -hmm. So basically now we have uh, farms called uh, brokers. So brokers are farms, they're kind of like intermediaries into the market because an, as an individual, you don't have a certain amount of capital, you can't get access to the market. So basically these uh, farms are called brokers, you give them your money and then um, they'll give you an account when you can trade for yourself. So is that like a minimum starting amount? Um, yeah, yeah, it really depends on your situation. Um, there are different kinds of brokers. So different brokers have different minimum amounts. Some brokers have as little as fifty dollars, fifty dollars like five k, five thousand Kenyan shillings. Some brokers have higher minimums, five hundred dollars, thousand dollars. So it really depends on your situation. But what I normally advise guys to do is, um, when you're starting, start off with a, um, a low capital amount, something you're actually willing to lose. Mm -hmm. And then once you get consistent, once you're comfortable with the amount you've actually put in, uh, you can now actually um, add on top of that. So maybe you could add. You could start with like um, $50, $100, and then from there you could scale up to $500, $1,000, and even more than that. All of a sudden, we're seeing so many people starting to train. It's true. <laughs> I, it's true. I, it's I true. want to understand why. It looks like an in global sort of thing, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, but it's true, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I want to understand why is there suddenly a certain boom in forex trading? So, for me personally, I think there are two main reasons. Um, number one, I feel like right now most people in the world, um, are getting more comfortable and more have become more exposed to the whole idea of um, making money online and then obviously second uh, second is corona you know corona has really changed everything i mean now after corona guys you know guys um losing their jobs and whatnot or looking for other things to do um have now all of a sudden come across you know forex as something that could actually make the money in the process so i feel like those are the two main reasons so what exactly inspired you to start trading um, so I actually started trading because um, of a friend I had actually met um, in, in university. So basically um, I saw him doing it and then I was actually interested in it and actually the same things I was talking about, um, the idea of making money online and you know, also diversifying your income. So how long have you been doing this like as a full-time thing? Okay, part-time and then full-time. 
Yeah, um, okay, so part time I've been doing it for like three plus years, you know, from um, my, my university years basically. Um, full time now I've been doing it for around a year. So, when it comes to forex trading, could you tell us maybe the risks that are associated with forex? One of the main risks I've actually seen myself is number one, getting into the markets without uh, proper education. So, the other risk I've seen myself is um, you know, even after getting the right education. There's something, um, there's a process, there's something that most um, people in this space in the forex industry don't really talk about, something called backtesting. So backtesting is a process of, um, even after getting the education, it's a process of finding out um, how a trading strategy performed in history in order kind of to predict or be, or be able to be comfortable with that strategy. But you actually have to go and test the strategy and then kind of find out how did this strategy perform before mm -hmm. um, so, that, so that you can kind of get an idea of what's going to happen or how it's going to perform in the future. The third risk is starting to trade live with real funds without getting enough experience on the demo side, on the virtual side. Because the demo, um, the demo trading is basically like a training platform. So you kind of have to go through the training first before you, know, you can kind of get into the real thing. So another risk um, when it comes to trading is um, getting into live trading um, with the wrong mentality. So basically people normally put money that they're not willing to lose inside a trading account. And then another thing um, is you know trading too big basically. So there are basically uh, percentage levels that you're supposed to, especially in the beginning, that you're supposed to adhere to. But most people, um, most people want to trade big in order to make more. We normally actually advise people to start trading with a 1% risk. So yeah, each and every single trade, only risking 1% per trade. And then the more comfortable they get with that, they can increase the risk um, to whatever levels they're actually um, comfortable with. The final risk is not sticking to a trading strategy for a long enough time period. So the thing that normally happens is, um, you know, you get people who are jumping from one trading strategy to another without really uh, being patient and waiting for a profitable trading strategy to actually play out. So um, once you've gone through the entire process of um, getting education, going through back testing, um, going through the demo uh, trading period, and then finally the live trading period, you need to actually stick to whatever strategy you've actually um, proven to be profitable for a long enough period of time. Okay, so you basically <coughs> answered my next question, which was yes. how to mitigate the risk. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. But <coughs> there is a group of us now who would want to do forex trading from the back end? Okay, yes. like give someone our money yeah. and then they trade for us. Okay. What would you advise? Because I've personally done that and <clears throat> I lost money. I lost money when I gave someone to trade for me. And uh, this was actually one of my friends. So if you're watching this, you still have my money. Wow. But. <laughs> wow. I'm not attacking you, but yeah, we lost Sorry. the friendship. I lost the friendship because yeah. of giving someone money, trade for me, and then they lost my money. So, yeah. what would you advise in such situations? So, basically, what I normally advise people is number one, um, don't really give your money to anyone um, to trade for you unless um, basically they have a track record, number one. Or number two, they're actually um, regulated by the capital markets so authority, the CMA. You know, first of all, taking money um, right now without the license, without this license from CMA is actually illegal. So I'm also going to be honest, there are, many, there are also many scammers, as you said, there are many scammers in this industry. And that's the issue because the scammers actually try to um, mess up the reputation of the people who are trying to do good, you know. So that's the thing. You also have to be aware of many scammers. Also, you know, that's the good old-fashioned advice. If it's too good to be true most probably is so i feel like the best thing to do is um number one getting exposure yourself of what the markets are about and then you even have a good idea of what a good return is you know if you go to a bank what what kind of rates of return are banks giving you they're giving like 10 6 percent yeah circles circles mm -hmm. probably like 10 percent mm -hmm. so you see making like a 20 percent return per year which is so very huge. possible in trading is very huge and i feel like that's also another mentality and something that people haven't been very open to as well Okay, I just want to give my experience right now so people can know. So I was told I was going to be getting 40% three months. <laughs> so you know me when I hear money, I'm just like, cool, yeah. So I gave um, this friend of mine money and they told me after three months, um, you will get 40%. Because me, they had told me they were getting like 40% after like two weeks. And I was like, I know, that thing is too good to be true. So if you're doing that in two weeks, let me just, let me extend it at least three months. Yeah. 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 So as he said, make sure they have a tra track, track record. Track record. Yeah. Yep. Make yeah. sure. Yep. 
make sure they're verified, make sure they have a track record. Track record or the verified. If you're going to give someone money, make sure those two don't be like me. As in yes. don't don't Learn hear my mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> don't hear money and then just yeah. Run for it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you said that um you're yes, the founder of the founder. Of, yes. Yeah, you actually is the founder yes. of World Market Trader. Yes. So basically what we're doing at World Market Trader is we offer mentorship programs because you know um we are we are basically aware of you know all these um the situations that people are in right now currently. So we're trying to offer our mentorship programs. We basically have a course, um, a course that's designed to take you from a beginner trader to a full-time uh, professional trader. So um, there's a full course. We offer a full course on that. Um, it takes about a few, you know, a month to maybe three months, depending on how fast you go inside the course. And then we also have a mentorship program called Live Trader. So Live Trader, um, we normally have webinars three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So basically, uh, what you're going to get is a breakdown of the markets. Um, the trades that we're going to be watching for the day or for the week um, and then there's also like a catalog of videos uh, previous videos that I've, I've actually recorded um, explaining the trades I take and the reasons I take them so that I can kind of mentor um, the next generation and kind of show people why I take those trades Okay, so me as a beginner, let's say I also have my other things that I'm doing that I also want to start learning. Yeah. Will I be taken at my own pace or yeah, yeah, so, does it work? Yeah, so it's, it's actually at your own pace. So the, the entire course is online. So um, you can actually do it at your own leisure. If you have any issues, we also have Zoom calls and Skype calls for the people who actually join the courses. So it's a, we're also kind of working together. You know, we're not just okay. giving you a product and then um, leaving you out there kind of working together. If you have any questions, if you have any feedback, you can also reach out to us. So, me as a beginner, me who has just heard about all this right now, mm -hmm. where can I start? So, basically, um, we have a website. Um, it's called worldmarkettrader.com. So, you can go there for more information. Um, we have a blog there. You can get yourself familiarized with the market. So, we actually have a free course um, that's designed to expose beginners to the different concepts in the market. So. If you want to check out the free course, there's going to be a link in the description box. All you need to do is create a free account and then log into um, the portal and then start um, learning from the course. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you really, you really informed the people who actually didn't know where to start when it comes to Forex yes. and stuff. So we've talked about the, what you offer in terms yes. of world market trading. We have the free course, um, uh, the mentorship program yeah. and the full course, which you just go by your pace, basically. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So for those who just watched this video, we have a special offer um, for the full course and for the mentorship program. You'll be able to access a discount of up to 60%. So while you try and access these courses, just say that you are from Monjo's um, YouTube channel and you'll be able to access a discount of up to 60%. We will link um, the contacts on the description box below. Um, Alex's phone number and email account if you want to get access to the full course and the mentorship program. Otherwise, I want to say thank you for being in this YouTube chat. Okay, YouTube video where we are talking about introduction to Forex. Yes, thank you so much, Alex. Thank you so much, Wanda, for hosting me on the channel. It was a real honor and a pleasure. So I'm really, really grateful. Yes, and I will see you guys next time before 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 I finish. Head over to Oceania on Instagram and check out what they have. As I say, they do branding of all sorts, corporate events, stationery, uh, normal t-shirts, uh, casual, you name it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.